guys. It is extremely early in the morning. It's like 6.30 and I have to take the garbage out. I'm in Woburn Bay and to take out the garbage in Woburn Bay apparently you can only do it on Tuesday morning before 7 a.m. or Friday morning before 7 a.m. You have to dingy it into what's called the concrete dock over in Woburn and I'll show you that and then you have to drop it off at the garbage pail right at 7 a.m. and then the garbage guy comes just after that because around here they don't want you putting out your garbage early because the local dogs will rip it apart so you have to get up really early in the morning and you have to take it in for exactly seven o'clock in the morning let's start our day by taking out the garbage I guess it feels a little bit early in the morning for doing boat magic but what the heck If you are ever going to come to Woburn Bay in southern Grenada, this green building, this is where the Woburn concrete dock is. This is where you go to take your garbage. Apparently up top there's a cool restaurant called Tappies. And down below on the main floor there's a used marine chandlery called Treasure Trove. It's supposed to be good for sailors. All of the local men standing around are staring at me as I pull up. This local guy just kindly picks up my garbage and walks away with it. When I arrived at the dock, some guy just took my garbage over for me, so I didn't even have to get out of the dinghy. Just a nice local guy. I had mentioned before about the water quality as you go deeper into Woburn Bay there's a distillery that dumps its outflow which is directly into the bay so the water out here is kind of a coppery color. It looks like I made it home just on time. It just started to rain as I got the dinghy tied up to the back. I have never seen plastic bottle farms in any of the other Caribbean islands before. It seems to be a Grenada specific thing. Only in Grenada do they farm plastic bottles. I'm not sure why. But I was thinking, since the dinghy's already in the water, maybe later on today, we can go bring a camera and investigate why is there plastic water bottle farms in Grenada? Good morning, Grenada. This is Saw. I'm saying we've got some music located in Woburn Bay. And it's a sunny day. And I'm going to be your temporary net controller today, Tuesday, the 9th of November. 
I need that control more, so, uh, you know, we got some backups, but other things happen, you know? So please, I volunteer to be in that control room, because if I don't film Tuesday, but next week, there won't be no doubt on Tuesday. Okay, so let's move on to priority traffic. Is there any priority traffic, safety, security, emergency, medical, uh, navigation, or things that may have been lost or found? And this is the temperature in the boat by 11 a.m. Good news for us, Teddy Bear happened to spot another one of those plastic bottle farms directly ahead of Wild Child. Okay, teddy bear, jump in. Okie dokie, teddy bear's ready for our little adventure. We're gonna go explore the plastic bottle farm over there, and I brought an underwater camera as well, so maybe if there's something under the water or whatever they're marking or doing, we can get a closer look at it. This is about sea moss. So these bottles are holding up these ropes. We are planting the sea moss onto the rope. And it takes three months to, 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 uh, to reach maturity. So this is like a farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah this is a farm. This is a farm. It's yeah. a sea moss farm. Yeah, yeah, sea moss farm. That is fascinating. So the purpose you also could you could drink this up. if you already know about it. You can you can blend it. Blend it? Yeah. Into like into a drink? Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. Yeah. This is fascinating. I have never heard anything like this before. So you're right now harvesting some of the sea moss? I, I am right now I'm planting over. Oh you're planting? Yeah. Cleaning the ropes and Okay. Planting over fresh, fresh sea moss. Oh, you're going to plant fresh sea moss. Yeah. And then, so when the when you do harvest the sea moss, we use it for what? Well, some people, some most times we ship it overseas to America, Canada, Trinidad. Really? Yeah. This is an export product in Grenada. Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. And how often do you come out here to tend? The garden? Do we call it the garden? Yeah, yeah. Almost every day of the year. Every day of the year you come out here, tend the garden, look after the sea moss, and this and when the sea moss is harvested, you bring it yourself. And before I wander away, may I ask you your name? Anderson. Anderson. Very nice to meet you. I'm Captain Lexi from Wild Child. So Teddy Bear and I came over to check out what the floating water bottle farm was all about and it turns out it's a sea moss farm. The local guy Anderson is just more than happy to answer my questions, talk on camera, because the people from Grenada are very friendly, inviting and kind. It's wonderful people here and a wonderful culture. And hey, you learn something new every day. Sea moss farm. Who knew?